I do want to point out a couple upcoming 10 by 3 events. Our, uh, let's see, not October, September 20th, we're going to have a songwriter prompt night. So, four word prompt. So, there'll be uh, 10 songwriters with, uh, you know, <laughs> they're excited. 10 brand new songs uh, based upon the four words that still have yet to be chosen. But that'll be on Wednesday, September 20th. And then October 18th, I believe. Is that the correct date? It is, yes. We're doing a very special 10 by 3 2 where we're pairing some songwriters with some jazz musicians for the Bop Stop Anniversary Week. So that's going to be pretty amazing. And speaking of the Bop Stop and the wonderful place that it is, don't forget to vote for the Bop Stop in the Cleveland Scene Music Awards for Best Jazz Venue and Best Blues Venue, in addition to all your other favorites in Cleveland. Because you know what happens really is what happens with that. Uh, not necessarily for the businesses, but the, for the individuals. It, it, <laughs> it means you can ask an extra, you know, $1,500 on a gig or it opens up the door. Like it really, you know, it does help. It, it, it really is a, a nice thing to have in the, in the pocket and a way to get your foot in the door in many places. So uh, definitely go vote for some people and help them out. Be back. He does a good job. He does doesn't a he? great job. Yes, <laughs> There's a chance to tell your boss that you I do know, a good job, right? It's such a weird. I can let Ty Ryan. Yes. I take care of my people. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you don't need any drinks right now. I mean, Brian can get them in a second, but you know, the wonderful thing about uh, the ten by three is I, I I show up on the weeks that it's here, and and here's Bridget, and she's behind the bar and. Uh, and she's a musician and she's a songwriter and I really wanted to get her out behind the bar and up on stage. So kind of she was the impetus for this whole evening. So thank you so much for everything that you do. She's in a great band called The Secret Babes. I'm sure she'll tell you more about it or maybe not, but either way, I'm gonna break for a little second. And we played a gig, uh, my band, Doug McKean, the Stuntman, we played a gig at the Happy Dog with him and they were fucking awesome. So uh, if you get a chance to see the Super Babes, definitely go, go see them. But without any further ado, put your hands on your buddy, Bridget Reckless. Thank you, thank you so much. So I'm very excited to be a part of this evening. Obviously I um, work all these events and I get to watch some amazing musicians and meet some amazing people and uh, it's definitely one of my most very favorite parts of this job and um, I mean I love working here regardless and the team is great so uh, yeah thank you again Brent for putting this awesome lineup together uh, very empowering lineup um, I am in a band called the Super Babes that Brent mentioned unfortunately my bandmate couldn't be here today so I'm gonna kind of represent for us but um, you can catch us coming up in Cleveland uh, the B-side patio actually yeah. next Thursday so we'll be there on Thursday and then on Sunday the 27th we will be doing a full rock and roll show at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame outside um, I guess they have a beer garden news to me but we'll be yeah. rocking the beer garden at the Rock Hall on Sunday at noon so you can catch that and then actually for the B side um, we are going to do kind of a more we call it our violent femmes style set um, so we'll be doing some of our normal rock and roll rippers, kind of like stripped back, I guess you would call it, but um, it'll still be a rockin' time, so hope to see you there. Um, yeah. This first song I'm going to play is called Ready, and it was actually one of the very first songs that my bandmate heard me playing um, out solo acoustic, and that's uh, one that she really wanted to add drums to, and it was kind of one of our first coming together type of songs, um, and I don't get to play it that often anymore, so uh, I'm going to utilize tonight to do that, so the song is called Ready.
Thank you so much. So the second song um, I'm going to do one that I've actually never played out before, and I, yeah. I, I love when people do that here. I think that's an amazing thing. And um, yeah, it's one I've been working on for a little bit. It still doesn't have a title, and um, I don't know when I'll get to that part, but you never know. So for now, we're gonna call it a sad girl bop, because um, I don't know, that's like another thing I do. I write a lot of sad girl bops, which is not a super great thing usually, because <laughs> um, we were very like, rock and roll, uplifting, empowering type of band, and uh, these don't always fit in those sets, so I'll try it here. <laughs> Woo! Woo! performing at these. The 10 by 3s are super awesome. Uh, Brent, thank you for hosting these, putting these all together. Yeah! Uh, again, thank you to the box stop, Brian. And uh, Darren, if he is watching the live stream, which um, he better be. So, Darren, I'm expecting a text message. Just kidding. I love the crew here. I love my team, this place. So, again, thank you. Um, this is really awesome to get to finally perform up here. I love, and it is one that sometimes the Super Babes gets to pull out, and we might get to do it for the B-side patio, so 
Um, we do it a little differently sometimes, though. Um, but again, I'm going to use this uh, platform today <laughs> to do it the sad robot way.